is asking anyone with unaccounted family members from the campfire to come forward and provide a DNA sample. Testing is available now at the Chico Mall. Action News Now reporter Christina Vitali has more. I'm standing in front of the Chico Mall, which is the main location for the DNA testing process. I talked with a spokesperson for the company, and he told me the biggest issue is that family members aren't coming forward to give their DNA. So we've had about, uh, say, 75 people come forward at this point. Uh, that have given uh, samples, which is great, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm very much afraid that we need more. Jim Davis, chief federal officer with Andy, the rapid DNA testing company, said he really isn't sure as to why more people aren't giving samples. You know, it's really hard to say. I, I, I think that there is possible that, you know, that it's part of a, I mean, this is part of a grieving process, right? And it's very hard for people to accept the fact that their loved ones may be dead. And I think that if they, uh, come in to give DNA, it, there is this whole acceptance thing where, you know, they've got to accept the fact uh, that what they're doing now is trying to identify a dead loved one. I think that's got to be very hard. Action News Now asked an evacuee why they think people aren't coming forward. I think a lot of us are in denial right now for a lot of different things and especially holding out hope that your family is going to call you and just kind of avoiding that till the last minute and I think that's the way some people are coping. Another Paradise evacuee explained why he thinks it's important for family members to go through the DNA testing process. Because it's just the, it's mandatory. It's the right thing to do, especially if a loved one is missing. I can't yeah. believe anybody would question that. Davis touched on the aspect of people being afraid to share their DNA. Sheriff said publicly, I heard him say it in a press conference, that it's his intent to destroy all the DNA data that he collects as part of the uh, identification process once that process is complete. So he doesn't have any intent to keep this DNA data on people who provide it voluntarily uh, as part of this process. Davis told me there's a website people can go to and use across the nation if they think they have any relation to some of the campfire victims. I'll attach that to our website under news links. Reporting in Chico, Christina Vitale, Action News Now.